What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing race picks for the Pocono doubleheader. Let's just go ahead and just jump straight to it. This weekend we're headed to Long Pond, Pennsylvania out the Tricket Triangle to do the first and only doubleheader this weekend at Pocono Raceway. But first before we jump into the race picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. The weather is a little bit iffy this weekend. There is a 30% chance of scattered showers, but what I've looked at the weather is that it looks like that those shower potentials are only going to happen in the morning. When the green flag does drop, it looks like it's going to be either partly cloudy or most guys. So we should be good for the weather this weekend, but we'll have to keep an eye on the weather for this weekend. So let's talk about picks for this weekend. Unlike most weeks, I'll be doing picks for both races, the first one on Saturday, and I'll also be doing picks for Saturday, for Sunday as well. So you'll be seeing picks for Saturday and Sunday. This will be the only time you'll see picks for both races in the weekend. So for those of you new to the channel, I do suck picks. Drivers that kind of run up front, I think, are going to struggle. Underdogs, drivers that are kind of doesn't always run up front. We're having a lot of momentum that aren't in the best cars that I think will have good runs. And the winners for this weekend, I also pick the ones that you need to watch out for this weekend's race. So let's anyway go ahead and talk about the Pocono Doubleheader. So let's start off with the suck picks. Who is going to suck this weekend here at Pocono? For race one, the suck pick, this driver has absolutely been struggling over the last five or six weeks. Now, this guy has won at this track back, I believe, in 2018 and 2015, but he's been on a really bad string of races, and I think he'll bounce back in race number two. But for race one, I'm going to be picking Martin Truex Jr. Like I said, Martin Truex Jr. has only had one top 15 finish in the last six races, and he's absolutely been really struggling over the last weeks. Ever since winning at Darlington, only one top 15 finish. I think Mark Trish Jr. is going to struggle this weekend here. For the second race, my suck pick is going to be Brad Keselowski. Now, Brad Keselowski, I think, will run pretty decent in the first race. But in the second race, I think he'll struggle as well. Keselowski also, I believe, has not had a top 10 finish since back, I believe, I think it was Kansas last time he even had a top 5 or even a top 10 finish. And he's really just overall been struggling in that two car. I don't think Brad Keselowski is going to have a lot of speed. And I think he's going to struggle this weekend here at Pocono International Racing. So now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the underdog picks for this weekend here at Pocono. Who are my underdog picks? The first underdog pick for race number one, this driver just came off of a second place finish this past weekend at National Super Speedway. And he's got a lot of momentum. He's had quite a few top fives and quite a few top tens over the last couple weeks. His 42 team has generally been really showing a lot of speed. My underdog pick is going to be Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain is also going to be running the Truck Series race, which he'll get a lot of experience in that, which will help as there's going to be no practice qualifying this week. That will help him out as well. But I think this 42 team has been on a roll. They've been get, picking up. That 42 team has been showing a lot of speed. And I think Ross Chessing will be really, really fast. Extremely fast, as a matter of fact, this weekend here at Pocono. For race number two, my underdog pick is going to be a driver that's coming off of a top 10 run. This team has been showing a lot of speed. They've had three top 10s so far this year. I'm going to be picking Daniel Suarez. Not only do I think Trackhouse Racing has a lot of momentum coming into this weekend after a very strong run, but I also think Daniel Suarez showed, has been really, really fast at the track. I mean, he finished runner-up, I believe, in 2018. He had, I believe, he had a couple top 10 runs as well, and has led laps in the past, driving for SHR and Joe Gibbs Racing in the past. I think Daniel Suarez is going to have a lot of speed. I think he's going to have a really fast car, and I think he'll have a really good shot of getting out top, top 10. I think both drivers will finish in the top 10 this week, and I think Trackhouse and Chip Ganassi Racing have a ton of momentum, and those are my underdog picks for the weekend. And now we're going to go and jump onto the winner's pick for these, this weekend's races here at Pocono. Who are my winner's picks? For race number one, this guy's been on an incredible streak. He's been historically really good here at Pocono International Speedway. He's been on a four-race streak, including the All-Star Race. I think that streak is going to continue into race number one here at Pocono. My first winner is going to be Kyle Larson. I don't think Kyle Larson is slowing down anytime soon. He's been extremely fast. That five team has got their stuff together really fast. He's not finished worse than second in the last six or seven races. It's really hard to bet against Kyle Larson. I'm picking Kyle Larson to win race one here at Pocono Raceway. But... In race number two, Kyle Larson's winning streak is going to end because for race number two, I'm picking a driver that has been really, really fast and has been extremely consistent throughout this year. They do have one win so far this year back in Homestead International Speedway, and I do think that they're once again going to be really, really fast this weekend. I think that they're going to be able to beat Kyle Larson this weekend. My second winner is going to be William Byron. Hedger Motorsports is going to continue to streak. They're seen to be the team to beat. They have not lost in a long time, and I think that they're going to continue their domination in the Cup Series, and I think William Byron is going to win his second race in 2021 and pick up Hendry Motorsports play seventh or eighth straight win in a row here at Pocono Raceway. And now we're going to talk about the ones you need to watch out for this weekend's race here at Pocono. Who are ones to keep an eye on for this weekend at Pocono? The first one is going to be Denny Hamlin. 
Denny Hamlin, I believe, has won here four or five times. He won here last year as well. He's been really, really fast this track historically. That 11 team seems to get their stuff together, especially they've been a second or first the last couple of years here. And I think Denny Hamlin will have a lot of speed this weekend. And I think he definitely has a shot of getting that first one of the year. This definitely could be the place where Denny Hamlin will show a lot of speed. I think for sure that we'll get top fives in both races here at Pocono. The second driver you need to watch out for does have, I believe, two wins here at Pocono Raceway, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has been extremely fast here at Pocono throughout the years. He's really been picking up over the last couple of years, too, at Pocono. And I think Kyle Busch will have a ton of speed. He didn't have a fantastic run in Nashville, but I think that he will pick up a lot of speed. Joe Gibbs Racing Tenor generally runs really, really fast here, especially at Pocono. And I think Kyle Busch will be a contender this weekend at Pocono. The third driver you need to watch out for is going to be Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick had one last year here at Pocono with the big, with the Bush Light Apple car. He'll have that paint scheme once again. And I think that Kevin Harvick is going to win, and not win, but I think Kevin Harvick's going to have a lot of speed. He definitely could have a shot of getting his first win, especially with it being a track position game. His strategy could come into play, and Ronnie Chills being as good of a crew chief as he is. I think Kevin Harvick will have a lot of speed, and I think he will show a lot this weekend here at Pocono Raceway. And the final driver you need to watch out for this weekend's race, I'm going to say Alex Bowman. Now, Alex Bowman's been off and on throughout the year so far, but... Alex Bowman has been really, really fast at his track historically. He got his first, I think, one of his first best finishes here a couple years ago back in 2018 in the 88 car. He's been really fast. He's led quite a few laps historically here at Pocono Raceway. And I think Alex Bowman is going to have a lot of speed this weekend at Pocono Raceway. Keep an eye on his team as a 48 team, I think, will shine this weekend here at Pocono Raceway. So anyway, those are my picks for the Pocono Doubleheader. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Mark Strick Jr. Brad Kozlowski. My underdog picks are Ross Jesse and Daniel Suarez. And my winner's picks are Kyle Larson and Daniel Suarez. And William Byron, excuse me. And the ones to watch out for are Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, and Alex Wim for this weekend's race here at Pocono Raceway. So, anyway, those are going to be my race picks. That is going to be for today's NASCAR news video. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to our channel. Notification on so you notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, as part page as well. Link description below for that. And combo your picks for this weekend's race at Pocono. Who is your suck picks? Who are your underdog picks? And who are your winners picks for this weekend's race here at Pocono? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time for some more great and awesome NASCAR content. Take care, everybody.